Anna DeLuca here. Okay, today I am going to be using one of these nifty little contraptions from the Paint Pour Store. Um, there is a link down in the description box uh, to, oops, <laughs> to the Paint Pour Store, and there's also a coupon code uh, to get yourself 15% off. Um, I am an affiliate with the Paint Pour Store. Uh, I do have other affiliates, including Deco Art. Uh, so, if you wanted to get yourself uh, some of these goodies, check out the description box below for the links and the coupon codes. Uh, so, what this is, there's different ways that you can use this, but today I'm just going to be using this part. And uh, we're going to be making a flower. So, I've used... The other one that had fewer petals, this one has more petals. We're gonna see what happens with this. Uh, I'm kind of psyched to find out. Uh, the colors that we're working with, so originally I was just going to do the magenta, but it was looking a little too bright. So I added uh, just like two drops of this Thalo Blue, the Liquitex Basic Thalo Blue. And it gave me this beautiful plum color. Uh, so this is going to be the base coat slash background color. These colors are also custom blended, all custom blends today. So uh, it is the Quinacridone Magenta and the Thalo Blue for the base coat. Uh, this color, let me get this cat hair off my finger before it ends up in my paint. This color is a mixture of uh, DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Amethyst and Sapphire. And this color is the Sterling Silver with a bit of this color added to it. So we have all custom colors today and uh, we're gonna have some fun. So let's see what happens. These paints have been mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. That mixture is then thinned with my concoction of 90% water and 10% Floetrol until I get the consistency that I'm looking for, which is about a two on my consistency scale. Actually, it'd probably be easier to see on this lighter color. So it's about a two on my consistency scale and it is making a mound, but it's disappearing very quickly. It is making a nice thin, even stream off of my stick. If it is getting thin and then thick and thin and then thick, you need to keep mixing. It's not mixed enough. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, and each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube uh, that gives you the exact paint brands, color, consistency, the recipe, and of course the technique, all of the things that I can't fit on one of these cards. This is the picture of the painting in that particular technique. This one happened to be a black light painting. Uh, this is uh, a uh, some tips for that particular technique and here we have the color palette that was used in this painting and then these two boxes can be used together as the basis of a two color palette or you can build off of those colors and there are eight bonus color palette cards each one has five color palettes you can use all of the colors or just some of the colors mix and match the bonus color palette cards with the technique cards and you have more combinations than you could ever paint in a lifetime. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.net and also at amazon.com. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is put some of my base color in my cup. I want to make sure that I have enough for my base coat and for my pour. And I'm going to lay down my base coat you can see just those two drops of phthalo blue made a tremendous difference. <laughs> two, like, pea size, the size of a pea in that, in that big cup, and the rest of it was magenta. That phthalo blue is a very, very powerful pigment. You only need 
the tiniest bit of it to change your paint. I mean, tiny, tiny bit. I wasn't even going for uh, this purple. I just wanted it a bit less bright pink. So, but it's still pretty. I'm not mad. So I lay down this base coat because I want my paints to slide around easily on this canvas. I am a big fan of using a base coat. I have the best luck when I do. Um, your something has to stick to the canvas first. And if it is not your base coat, it is going to be your poured paints. And sometimes that might mean that you are losing some very cool stuff on the edges because the paint will stick to the canvas and then it will roll over top of itself. Okay, my base coat is down and now I'm going to add the paints to my cup. I'm going to pour from up high. I want these paints to sink and churn. It is the, the paints blending in the cup and also on the canvas. Uh, but as the paints the cell makers blending together that create the bolder cells, that real 3D effect. Um, the Deco Art paints dry matte, and the Liquitex paints have a tendency to dry uh, glossier. And so these matte paints have a hydrophobic effect, meaning they push the other paint away. And it gives you cells. Okay. So I'm going to pop this baby in the center. What I hope is the center. I will have to adjust this a couple of times until I feel it's right. Okay, these cells are already starting to pop back up. I am going to pour quickly, spin slowly in a clockwise manner, and I'm going to try to stay in the center. And as I get to the end of the cup, I will have a bit of that lightest blue at the bottom. Typically that's what happens. And that will give me a nice bright center focal point. Ooh, I am very shaky today. Uh, 
Okay, here it comes that lightest blue. I'm actually going to kind of try to give this a petal rose like center here. I'm just changing direction. I'm going to touch that center up just a hair. All righty. Now, carefully lifting. Okay. Well. I like what's happening so far. It's going to pop these bubbles. That is going to help create some cells. So as the bubbles are lying underneath of that top layer, uh, they start to come to the top and you pop them and it brings some of that paint with it. And because the paints have a hydrophobic effect, it's going to push the other paints away and give you cells. Okay, popping more bubbles. This is the part in a straight pour, and that's essentially what this, I mean, it's an, a modified straight pour. It's mixed like a straight pour, going for the effects of a straight pour, which is creating cells without silicone. Um, I see a lot of people calling a lot of things straight pours. Uh, when I named it the straight pour, my intention was more about the effect than it was about the actual, like whatever motions your hands are making or what have you. It was more that uh, it was straight, no additives. <laughs> um, no, no silicone added or anything like that. Um, and my goal was to get cells without using silicone. And so when I say straight pour, that's what I mean. I don't necessarily mean just pouring it straight out of the cup. I mean, there are no additives. The cells you get are coming from a mixture of matte paints and glossier paints. Okay, just wanted to touch up those corners. You're a stubborn one. Um, I wanted to touch up these corners because I'm gonna be spinning it out and the paints can kind of start to set up just a little bit on you when you are being patient and allowing your paint puddle to percolate. Okay. 
So I think I'm ready to give this a twirl. Uh, I will have more cells popping up as I go and as it sits. I'm just making sure that my center is centered. That is the most important part here. The rest of it will stretch, but I need my center to be in the center for my liking. Alrighty, let's give this baby a twirl. And remember, you do not have to spin it fast. It will get to where it's going. I see my spinner is being very noisy again today. Oh, just in the other direction. Okay, well, duly note it. Touch that up. Oh. Okay. There it is. I like that better. That looks more like a rose center. Okay, so this corner needs a little extra love, so I'm going to actually slide the whole painting in this direction on my spinner. And that should pull the paint in that direction a little more. So I do have a bit of my magenta left here. I'm just going to give that a little bit more there. Spin it in the quiet direction. Well, quieter anyway. It's so close, it's so close. Come on, baby. Wheel of Fortune, spin, big money, no whammies, got the wrong show.
that makes me crazy when it's just like right there. Maybe I can drag it out a little bit. Help, help it out. We'll just pretend that that's how it came out. And I'm just taking some of the drips. Then you'll see, I'll give it another spin and it'll feel like it never happened. Almost like it never happened but you can see why paying extra close attention to what's going on in the center is crucial when you're doing this because that little circle stretches out and becomes something much bigger and now you have this focal point in the center so it is important to be mindful of that let me see if I can just fix this and make it look. Well, nobody's going to know. Okay. Because I'm an absolute perfectionist <laughs> I am going to touch that up okay that looks better all right I am going to let this sit for a bit and see what it does and then I'm going to bring you in for a close-up uh, I expect more cells will probably be popping up um, we'll see what happens all right back in a few Okay, here it is. You can see it's been drying for a bit. The edges are already dry. But uh, very happy with how this piece turned out. The middle is very pretty. It is soft, yet dramatic. Very happy with how this came out. I like the colors together. Yeah. So if you uh, enjoyed, if you learned something, please do like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to click that bell. If you are already subscribed and you are not receiving notifications, uh, you have to click that bell. Only 7% of my 161,000 subscribers are receiving notifications. So uh, make sure you've checked that out. Do be sure to check out uh, my Patreon, patreon.com slash Gina DeLuca. There's some exclusive content up there. Um, there is uh, weekly Zooms, Q&As, and kind of check-ins and how everyone's doing and what do you need help with. Uh, cool stuff over there. So check that out. In the description box, you will find links to my website, ginadeluca.net, where you can find my art and music and the Fluid Art Inspiration cards for sale. You will find my affiliate links and coupon codes for uh, several brands. So if you're doing your shopping online, if you're buying a washing machine off of Amazon and you use that link, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. Um, also in the description box, you will find the link to the Fluid Art Experience where I'll be teaching in April in Seattle. Uh, there's also going to be a trailer coming up immediately after this to tell you all about that. And last, but certainly not least, you will find the link to our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. Join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration.
a good time is had by most. All right. Well, I guess that is it for me for today. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art. Thank <laughs> you.